There's still time from September through the end of the year to really hone your short game. And I wanna show you how simple it is to hone your short game by varying your setup positions. What I see a lot of my clients do is try to change their swing to change distance and trajectory, particularly of their distance control wedge shots. Those shots from say 25 to 85 yards. But if they found a way for it to work with just one swing, and then one of nine variables in your setup was varied. It was sort of like taking a bread recipe and altering how much salt or how much sugar. With that, you can actually alter distance trajectory as well as spin. And that's what this month's blog post is about. It's not too late for you to go out and work with these variables. Let me give you just one variable that can possibly change some things. And that's whether you open your stance or not. When you're hitting a pitch shot and you're parallel, you're sort of telling your body, make a little bit fuller swing. So when you do that, I'm just gonna make my normal pitch shot swing. How far does that ball go? How high does it go? I roughly hit that on average about 45 to 48 yards. Height is normally between 30 and 40 feet and the spin's roughly about seven to 8,000 yard, seven to 8,000 RPM. Now, what if I decide I'm gonna open up my stance? Here's what happens with that variation. As I open up my stance, I'm organically limiting how far back I can bring that club relative to where I want the ball to go. If I'm gonna bring it back further, then I'm gonna pull it to the left. So number one, I'm limiting my backstroke. I don't have to try to do it, the setup does it. But for every variation you use, there's an equal and opposite variation that goes on. And in this case, when you open up your stance, you're most likely gonna put more weight into your front foot. In turn, it creates more uh, forward shaft lean. Let's see what the difference is. A Little bit lower trajectory, hit it almost as far, maybe a little further, and the spin changes. So literally one more time, parallel, versus open. Opening my stance, a little bit more weight forward. You can see the shorter swing. Shorter swing has it go a little shorter as well. There's nine variables that you can use before you ever swing. I highly suggest to you to play and experiment with those variables, particularly when it comes to distance control wedging. Read the entire blog post this month. It's very comprehensive. And I think what you'll find by employing this experimentation during your practice, you're gonna become a better short game artist when it counts on the golf course, particularly late in the season when you're trying to win that championship.